Hi, my name is Shadow Serio. This video is dedicated for a student who wants to apply in the La Salle University and help them be prepared while knowing the coverage, the advice, and specific tips that I'm going to provide to help you pass the exam. So the first one is the application process. All you have to do is go to their uh, official website, the, the La Salle University website uh, that come MEMA. And after successfully uh, registering your account, they will provide um, application fee and your reference number. Application fee is actually 600 pesos, but if you're a public student, you're lucky, it's free. Just tell them on the telephone or contact them at email. And the college entrance exam test is included in that fee. So the basic requirements that you need is the two by two photo of yourself, your birth certificate, and your grade 11 report card. Actually, there's a lot of application or requirements that you need to undergo. So just check it out, fill up the form, and pass everything that you need. After the approval, you're complete, you pass the requirements and everything like that, they will be providing a print uh, PDF that you need to uh, submit before you even uh, enter their campus. This will be indicating your QR code, your 2x2 two two picture that you've sent uh, according to your requirements, and where are you going to take the test in their specific campus, etc. So if you're asking the coverage of the exam, I can say that it's so difficult to understand because there's a lot of math subjects. I'm I'm reiterating, there's a lot of math subjects. So you have to focus um, on the core course subjects or the major subjects which is English, science, and especially math. Regardless of your strength, they're generalizing that test. Um, they don't care if you're an ABM, they don't care if you're UMS, they don't care what type of strand you are if you're STEM or like that. So you have to expect a lot of uh, computation, math problems, uh, word problems, especially from science and uh, math which I've struggled a lot and I have a huge uh, disadvantage on that, that is my main weakness that you need to master if you're not good at math. And if you're not good at English, then you have to focus on that one. I can say that you, have, you must focus on your weaknesses rather than your strength. If you want to take the exam, you have to be prepared at least three to six months um, earlier before the prior um, examination date. You have to be consistent at your schedule and they will be providing the board work. Uh, it's usually indicated how many items in the test that you need to answer, what is the given or the allotted time. So I tried listing down all the specific topics that will be given on the test. This is prior in 2023. So I've listed it down. So you have to study those. I didn't even expect that there's a lot of coverage that you need to, uh, to study about at least three to six months so on the day of your examination those 24 hours make sure you have no appointment no meetings when it comes to uh, the reading comprehension my tip here is to read the question first before skimming the entire chapter once you find the main idea or the main keyword then you answer it and take note there's going to be a lot of graphic organizers bar graphs pie charts that you have to analyze in terms of numbers and interpret it to another meaning there's going to be a lot of sin cost tan uh, tangent or whatever it's called trigonometry it's like uh, 50 to 70 items separated from statistics and probability which is very complicated so i encourage you to focus on trigonometry and uh, statistics because it's going to be a lot of items and i forgot there's going to be a five paragraph essay that you need to do just pranking <laughs> but seriously in terms of reading comprehension there's going to be a lot of paragraphs that you need to read the reason why it's so easy because i read a lot of books so it will test your vocabulary and reading comprehension skills there's a lot of vocabulary that is so confusing so I recommend you buying a Merriam-Webster dictionary. I have it right there. And even recommend you this uh, book that I bought in National Bookstore. It costs like uh, 155 pesos. Keep this in mind that time is very crucial when taking the exam in uh, DCAT. That is one of my uh, biggest struggle because that's such limited time. You need to compress that. and. I've come up to the point that I'm just guessing answers because there's no no more time. So you need to focus on 
the easy questions, then the hard questions is last. You're going to need to skip a lot of questions in order for you to save your time and go back to it later on. That is one of the best strategy to save time. Many people would uh, say there's no trigonom I mean, trigonometry and geometry at uh, uh, DCAT. The answer is it's not. It's actually included there. It's hard. And someone will say, oh, DCAT is one of the easiest college entrance exam. Well, it may be true for some private school, but in terms of public uh, high school student, it's hard. Don't just depend on what other people think or experience because they have different experience about it. Most people who say that the college entrance exam in DCAT is easy is because they came from the private schools, etc. Their lessons there and their standards is so different they're so advanced that you can't uh, cope up uh, to their lessons. So I think that is one of the reason uh, why the La Salle University offered a free application fee for public high school students. So don't be overcompetent and confident about what other people think. So it's important to make sure than to assume. Some people will struggle at this, some people will not. But one of the easiest uh, college entrance exam in the La Salle University in terms of subject is English because I'm very good at English. I have, I have a lot of experience. That is one of my favorite subject. And this is where I excel. This is where my strength is. The reason why I'm telling you must focus on your weakness because it uh, takes a lot of time, attention, focus, effort, and energy. Imagine those components and building blocks in order to master your weakness. Build a strong foundation in it and I promise you'll make sure that everything you answer is sure. So yeah, I've uh, mentioned some of my advices. So the number one tip I have for you is to practice. Do some mock-up tests and use uh, Mongo 1 or Mongo 2 pencil and bring some sharpener and eraser and everything that you possibly need and bring some water. <laughs> So time is going to be limited, so you have to be aware of it always. If you got like 20 minutes, be aware of it. Later, you remember if you got 10 minutes, be aware of it. If you have uh, 5 minutes, be aware of it. Sometimes the teacher will remind you you only have 20 minutes. Sometimes they will say to you you only have 10 minutes around the class or the college uh, exam takers. What if you didn't pass the college entrance exam? Well, you actually have uh, 5 options. The first option is you have you can take the college entrance exam um, once, twice, thrice. I don't think if it's possible or not. Hopefully it is. Option number two is you have to apply a reconsideration request, um, maybe through email or personally at their campus. Um, option number three is you have to uh, apply to other college or universities for backup. There is PILM, there's uh, UDM, there's um, uh, PUP, there's Ateneo, etc. If you have a lot of those options, if you like this college or not, at least you have a backup. The fourth option is you can apply to those universities that I've mentioned and finish one semester and transfer to the La Salle University. That's it. Number five, if you don't feel like transferring, maybe you magically uh, form friends and relationship with PLM, PUP, UDM, Ateneo. Maybe just treat it as your home. Maybe it's, you're destined to that uh, college university. Sometimes the way we want life to be is not destined for us. We work hard. We do our best but our result and expectation is not meant according to our standard and it's okay we have to actually go with the flow enjoy those disasters and convert them into an opportunity learn from your mistakes or accept sometimes acceptance is the best place to start learn to forgive yourself and a university isn't always an indication that you will be successful long run in the future Many businessmen and billionaires and even professionals gain success not from those specific universities but to their talents, their skills, and their competency. There's online digital platforms. There are different courses online that you can learn for free. There is podcasts. There's a lot of opportunity right now in these contemporary times that you could take as an advantage. So don't feel bad if you haven't passed the exam. Maybe it's 
destined for you. So in conclusion, before you even uh, take the college entrance exam in um, not just in De La Salle University, you have to be prepared, excited, optimistic, or positive. Never give up on achieving your goals consistently on a daily basis. One last message. I just want to say that do your best and let God do the rest. That's all the thing that you need to do. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned deep down something about uh, the lessons that I've taught to you and the advice and the tips that I hope you can apply to. If you want someone to help you according to your studies, productivity, and time management, you're always welcome to watch other of my videos. Without being said, goodbye and peace out.